Around the world, the Islamic Corporation for the Development of the Private Sector, or ICD, is working to develop the private sector in numerous industries. ICD has an important role in order to help IDB Group to really achieve its objectives and the purposes for which it's found, that is development. Now, without private sector, development will not be there. Experience from other parts of the world have actually shown that when the private sector is given a bigger role in the economy, private sector tends to support positively the economies of these countries. As a development institution, ICD takes a two-pronged approach to project financing in order to maximize the benefits to local economies. ICD delivers direct investment and financing for larger scale projects such as Al Farida in Jeddah, Felix Airways in Yemen, Rahima Fruz Globat in Bangladesh, and H&D Industries in Senegal, just to name a few. Complementing the direct investment approach, ICD also reaches many more local SMEs through the chain of channel financing. ICD invests in local funds, Islamic banks, and leasing companies, who then channel investment funds to SMEs in their respective markets. In our business, we focus a lot on SMEs. And among other things we do, we created channels, which are financial institutions uh, focus on supporting the SMEs. Uh, we do you know, create these institutions. We support them technically and financially to make sure that they extend financing to the SMEs in these countries. ICD has formed the Ijara Management Company, IMC, in order to achieve its goal of setting up 20 leasing companies in five years. Through IMC, ICD has created an excellent vehicle to set up Islamic leasing companies in various countries at a much quicker pace, bringing international best practices uh, in the market. Since its inception, ICD has been active in over 40 countries, has helped develop over 270 projects, and has invested over $3 billion it has made a significant impact around the world. In Azerbaijan, ICD channel funding partners Caspian International Investment Company and Ansar Leasing are financing and investing in local SMEs. In Baku, the Park Bolvar Shopping Mall, financed by ICD, has opened up shopping to tourists of all ages, with plans to expand in the near future. While in Bangladesh, building on the success of Rahima Fruz Globat, which exports batteries to over 50 countries, ICD's financing to the Abul Qair Steel Project is expected to create over 3,000 direct and 100,000 indirect jobs, much needed in a country with over 40% unemployment. Metals are also in focus in Kazakhstan, with construction underway on aluminium of Kazakhstan, a new factory set to begin producing aluminium window frames in 2015. At the same time, channel partners such as the Central Asia Renewable Energy Fund, based in Kazakhstan, and Kazakhstan Ijara Company ramp up financing activities for local private sector entities. Ijara companies are very important for uh, the growth of SMEs in these countries because in most of the cases, this is the only window available for them for their financing needs. Amid the majestic waters of the Indian Ocean, the Islamic Bank of Maldives is growing both its deposit base and local project funding activity. Nearby, the ICD-funded Horizon Fisheries has given a huge boost to the nation's fishing industry, which now accounts for 13% of GDP and is the second largest foreign currency earner. Meanwhile, in the Maghreb, the Islamic Bank of Mauritania is providing much-needed financing to local SMEs, which account for 95% of Mauritania's economy. SMEs are also the focus in Saudi Arabia, with the Saudi Small and Medium Enterprise Fund identifying promising local businesses such as the highly popular Cabrito restaurant chain and supporting their growth plans through equity investments. On the real estate front, ICD is financially involved in the Al Farida residential project and co-established Capitas Group International. Both entities are working to address the kingdom's housing shortage. Over in Senegal, 
Tamwil Africa is spearheading the expansion of Islamic banking throughout the region, while the Islamic Bank of Senegal channels funds to local SMEs in Dakar and beyond. I think there is an increasing awareness of uh, Islamic finance in our member countries, and there is a definitely a real will and commitment of the central bank and of the authorities in each of our sub-Saharan member countries, you know, to implement Islamic finance. Heading north to Tunisia, the Sarast offshore drilling rig is taking on the challenge of ensuring marginal field reserves yield profit for stakeholders. Back in Central Asia, Uzbekistan's leading force credits its Murabaha agreement with ICD for its new stone crushing and asphalt projects, which it expects to triple revenues. Channel funding partner Taiba Leasing Company has already financed several projects and plans to grow quickly in the market. And lastly, in Yemen, Felix Airways has facilitated intergovernorate business by improving connectivity across the country, while Sabah Islamic Bank allocates 70% of its financing portfolio to SMEs and aims to be one of Yemen's top three banks. ICD's investments have delivered significant developmental impact throughout the world. Looking to the future, ICD has ambitions to make an even greater impact as it continues to identify promising private sector opportunities across the IDB Group's member countries. The future of Islamic finance, the future of IDB and the future of ICD is great in our countries. We want ICD really to expand more and more. Based on our track record, based on, on the support of the shareholders, I can say with confidence that ICD future is very bright.